The average person will go from 100% focus and engagement to complete physiological fatigue in just 90 minutes. Hello all and welcome to this week's installment of the Entrepreneurial Mindset YouTube channel. My name is Don and today we'll be talking about how to unwind outside of work to increase productivity at work. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our community of followers for making this content possible, and especially to those tuning in from PassiveIncomeConnect.com and the Passive Income Connect app. For those of you unaware, Passive Income Connect is my own blog, built to be the number one resource on topics like entrepreneurship, small business, and generating passive income through investing. There, you can learn more about the topics covered on this channel and join our community forums where you can ask and answer questions about said topics with other members of the community. Head on over to www.passiveincomeconnect.com to learn more. We've said here before that taking breaks in your workday is crucial to productivity, but that's certainly easier said than done. Especially as an entrepreneur working from home, it can be difficult to make yourself take a break when you're the boss and you know you have so many things to get done. For a lot of people, myself included, getting yourself to truly relax and forget about work during a break can be difficult. As the chief editor at Passive Income Connect, I'm responsible for writing our featured articles as well as editing and reviewing everybody else's work as well. With deadlines to meet and other work to be done on top of all that, it can be difficult to remove myself from the work when I'm feeling burnt out. The busiest people need to take the most breaks to unwind, but those breaks don't do you any good unless you can truly remove yourself from the work. Just taking a 15 minute break every few hours is important to renew your productivity as time goes on. But how do you completely forget about your workload in just that short amount of time? We're here to answer that question today. Before we do, please take a moment to share us on Facebook. Shares are how we continue to grow and educate people just like you about entrepreneurship and making money through passive income. Hit that little button down there. Why is it so important to take a break? Well, studies have shown that the way to increase productivity is to decrease the length of time you work in between breaks. Somebody who works six hours straight is going to get less done than somebody who works five hours but took two 30-minute breaks in between. The explanation is that we're not designed to focus on something for six hours straight, and we start slowing down our concentration after just an hour of work. Some people can absolutely work four hours straight without breaking productivity, but some other people have a hard time focusing after just a few minutes of work. The first step is to figure out what the time point is for you. Try, for instance, doing something challenging that you really enjoy. For me, that's video games. I found that after about three hours of playing competitive multiplayer in Call of Duty, I began to play worse and felt more exhausted playing the game. Now, surely, if I can only be productive for three hours doing something that I really enjoy, the amount of productive time I could achieve doing something that I don't enjoy would be significantly lower. I personally try to average about 15 minutes of break for every 60 minutes of work, which studies suggest is about the ideal amount of break time. The statistics, according to a QConnect study on employee productivity, found that the highest performing workers take the most breaks. The top 10 of productive employees observed took a break on average every 52 minutes and took an average of 17 minutes on their break. That means that these employees were on break for nearly 30% of their workday. They also found that employees felt more engaged with their work after taking longer breaks more often. Boredom leads to severe loss of productivity, and it's easy to get bored with even the most exciting work after a few hours. They found that employees who felt engaged were, on average, 38% more productive than those who felt bored. Tony Schwartz, founder of the Energy Project, uses what he calls the pulse and pause method for productivity. The idea is that humans are designed to pulse and pause their energy to achieve maximum reserve, and that the average person will go from 100% focus and engagement to complete physiological fatigue in just 90 minutes. He claims that the average individual will conform to a pulse period of either 25, 52, or 90 minutes and need at least an average of 5 minutes of break per 25 minutes of work. You could read more about it in the link below. How to actually go about taking a break. 
So, you're convinced that you need to take more breaks. Great! But how do you actually go about doing so? Well, like we said earlier, some people find it very difficult to remove yourself from a project, and thus, their breaks are less meaningful because they were still mentally working during that period. One of the issues you may face is that you aren't substituting your attention during that break. If a 15-minute break to you just means not working for 15 minutes, then you could become very bored with the break and start thinking about work again. Or maybe you just scroll through Facebook for 15 minutes. That's also not engaging enough for you to remove yourself mentally. If, during your break, you are mentally counting down the clock until the break is over and until you have to go back to work again, then you will be almost as exhausted when you get back as when you left. You need to occupy yourself with another task and not think about the work again until the break is over. Here are a few ways you can do that. Do a little exercise. You might not have enough time to head over to the gym, dress in, work out, shower, dress out, and head back, but you do have the time for a quick walk, a small set of squats, lunges, burpees, or jumping jacks. Maybe place a few dumbbells near your workstation to get a quick pump in during your break. Whatever you do, consider just doing a small exercise set. Exercise clears the mind naturally and releases feel-good endorphins to chemically refresh you and reset your productivity. Pair exercise with a video, some sort of music, or a snippet of your favorite audiobook to add another dimension of attention to your break. Do this, and you'll come back feeling refreshed, if not maybe a tad sweaty. Don't overdo it, though, because you don't want to be smelly for the rest of the workday. Make a snack. This helps if you're working from home or have access to a kitchen at work. In addition to the act of making food, you also get to eat the food, which makes you feel doubly refreshed, especially if you go particularly long between meals at work. Don't make too big of a snack and feel tired as a result of being full, but do make something that is healthy and will give you the energy for the day. I like to take a break around 10 a.m. and make something like oatmeal, egg on toast, or blueberry waffles as a quick snack to refresh me until lunch at about 1 p.m. Just the act of making food, sitting down and watching a 10-minute YouTube video makes me feel like I was away from the office for far longer than I was since it felt like I did more things during the break. Clean up a bit! I am absolutely guilty of letting my workstation get cluttered and a lot of the times I use a small portion of my desk because there's usually crap all over the rest of it. Taking a few minutes to clean your workstation can be very refreshing with the added benefit of a clean workstation when you do get back to work. You can also play some music while doing so to make it feel kind of fun. For those of you that work from home, this is a great opportunity to get some house cleaning done. I am lazy as shit in the evenings, so when I'm done making and eating dinner, I literally just toss the perishable items back into the fridge and leave everything else as is. Now that gives me the opportunity to get some cleaning done on my first break of the day, and cleaning up the dinner mess from the night prior typically takes me about 15 minutes, and it allows me to keep my house clean too. Meditate or do yoga. If you're the type of person that can clear your mind easily and just needs a break from the whole world for 15 minutes, then meditation may be for you. It takes some pretty serious mental willpower that I don't personally possess, but some people can really train themselves to clear their mind and think about literally nothing for 15 minutes. It sounds like the ideal break to renew productivity, and you should give it a try. Yoga is a great way of doing the same thing, but you can focus more on finding your inner peace as well as improving your body's physiology in the process. Yoga is a great way to center yourself and build a killer physique while you're at it. It's mostly core work, so you can build those six-pack abs while taking a break from work. Learn or refine a skill. Something I've been doing recently during my breaks is focusing on improving the speed at which I can solve a Rubik's Cube. I know a few people that I have tipped on to Rubik's Cubes who've used them during their breaks to help them relax while doing something fun. This could be any sort of puzzle. Crosswords, or a short video game, or something short and repetitive that can be refined over time. Learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube can certainly take some time and effort, and working on learning the moves for even just 15 minutes a day can put you on the path to solving them on your own within the next few months. I think the Rubik's Cube is a terrific tool to relax, take your mind off of work, and also strengthen the mind and memory over time alongside other puzzles. And that will wrap up today's video. If you found value in today's message, hit me with a thumbs up. 
If you want to learn more about topics like entrepreneurship, small business, and investing, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We release new videos every Saturday, and if you like what I have to say, then you can also catch me Mondays at PassiveIncomeConnect.com and Wednesdays on the Passive Income Connect podcast. And with that, I bid you adieu. This is Don, signing out.